Hi, everybody. It's, uh, well, it's Monday. And this is a quick recap video of 10.1. And then I think I'll post another one for 10.2, classifying the equilibrium points. So this will be a quick video on the things we did in 10.1, the uh, writing a nonlinear second order differential equation, ordinary differential equation as a plane autonomous system. And then also finding critical points for a plain autonomous system. Both of these examples are examples that we've looked at or similar to examples we've looked at in class and are currently posted uh, in OneDrive. So uh, let's see, take this second order, uh, nonlinear, and write it as a plane autonomous system. So we currently have a dependent variable X. We're gonna to need to introduce another dependent variable and uh, let's use the letter Y for our new dependent variable. And our new dependent variable, we, we, we're gonna pick Y, we rename that as the X prime in this case. So here we would let X prime equal Y a new dependent uh, or an additional an additional uh, dependent variable. Then let's call that equation one. Uh, then for equation two, let's rename the original differential equation. Um, in terms of both X and Y. So the, instead of, let's take that, copy, paste, Okay, so instead of x double prime, um, that's going to be y prime. And just as a note, uh, where x prime equals y, and, or let me write that. So if we have x prime equals y, if we took the derivative, then we'd get the derivative of y, y prime. So x double prime is y prime. So this becomes y prime plus 9 um, x over 1 plus x squared plus 3 y is equal to 0. And now for our second equation, we're going to solve for y prime. So our second equation gives us y prime is equal to negative 3 y minus 9 x over 1 plus x squared. And x squared. All right, so now just to be clear then, the plane autonomous system that we're coming up with is, let's change the color to red. Plane autonomous system we're coming up with is equation one and equation two. Equation one was x prime equals y, x prime equals, uh, and I'm going to write it like this, 0x plus 1y, and then, um, not that you would need to, it, well, maybe I won't, I'll just write it as x prime is equal to y, and then the second equation is what you see there, y prime equals negative 3y minus 9x over 1 plus x squared, that's our plane autonomous system. Okay, let's keep going. Let's call these two equations, equations one, equation two, and we're finding all the critical points, fixed points, equilibrium points, stationary points. Four, uh, and when we say points, we're talking about solutions like an X and a Y that solve these equations and uh, send them to zero. So let's take equation one and both these equations, whenever we work with them, we're going to be setting them equal to zero. Um, that's the point of a fixed stationary point. The derivative x prime would be zero y prime 
would be zero. So let's take um, the first equation. So we want to set, yep, come on in. Okay, picking back up, we renamed our equations, equations one, equations two, set either equation equal to zero and solve. It doesn't matter which one you start with. Your, let's see, so let's take equation one, x prime is equal to um, zero, and it's equal to x 14 minus x minus one half. Why? So either you have two factors. You have a first factor, you have a second factor, and either one is equal to zero. So zero is x, or zero is 14 minus x minus one half y, and that tells you that x is 14 minus one half y. So let's take this one and plug it into number two. And number two set to zero is y prime equals zero equals y 18 minus y minus x, and we're plugging in x is zero. So we have zero is y, we have 18, minus y, that tells us that either zero is y or zero is 18 minus y. And in this case, y is 18. Okay, so when x was zero, we got two y values. Uh, so when x is zero, we get y is zero. And when x is zero, we get y is 18. So out of this side, we get when x is zero, and when x is zero, we get a zero for y, and we get an 18 for y. Then the other side, let's take this. x equals 14 minus 1 half y. Again, into the other equation set to zero. y prime equals, I'm just rewriting what I have over here on the left. y prime equals zero equals y 18 minus y minus x. And we need to replace x replace x with uh, 14 minus 1 half y so 0 is y that's 18 minus y minus 14 plus 1 half y Minus y minus 14. Okay, so I'm going to combine actually minus y and one half y. That's minus one half y. Yeah. All right. And then we can combine the 18 and 14. 18 minus 14 is four. So four minus one half y. And now either zero is y or zero is four minus one half y, in which case, uh, let's see, one half y is four and y is an eight. Okay, so we got zero is y and y is eight. So out of this point, we have zero is y and eight is y. And to find the matching x, we need to go back to 14 minus one half y right here. I'm curious if you could plug these into, well, no, I think, yeah, I think you need to plug it in here. Well, for sure here, for sure here but I'm wondering what would happen if you plugged it into say equation one or equation two, just curious, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna plug it into this one, X is 14 minus one half Y. So if X is equal to 14 minus one half Y, when X is, uh, we're plugging in when Y is zero, then X is 14 and you'd get 14. Um, then we also want x equals 14 minus 1 half y when 
y is 8. And so x is 14 minus 1 half times 8. That's going to be 14 minus 4. That's 10. So 10, 8. All right, so our fixed points are 14, 0, 10, 8, and 0, 0, 0, 18. All right, um, you all take care. I will send another video here in a little while.